Yeah, well, I knew I was out of the pecking order when I went to Zimbabwe and just carried the drinks for about two weeks and didn't look like playing. So you learn pretty quickly in cricket when you're out of the, the pecking order. So I think for me, I've said I just kind of gave up caring about you know where I stood in the order and and the favour and all that kind of thing. I just wanted to play cricket and have fun and do well. And it's still the same now. I I don't want to go out there and put all the pressure on performing when you can bowl everything you, you want to bowl on the day and go for 60 or 70 or 80 and not take wickets. So in the end, just trying to execute and have fun and just live with the result. Think about someone like Kane Richardson, who I sat with at Old Trafford from last year and I never thought he'd play cricket for Australia again. I didn't think he had the bottle. Well, he said that about me 12 months ago, so oh, I obviously disagree with it. I mean, it, and it's with, he's within his right as a coach to think that about a player, but I mean, the positive spin on that is that he thinks I've improved since then. I'm glad I've changed his opinion of myself and I think I've done that through just performing. Well, I think over the last six months that's, I had a, had a really good big bash which helped to get back into this team. But for me personally, I don't know how much has changed within myself. I still feel the same kind of player I was last year, but last year we were struggling and the team team's getting beat around everywhere. So naturally confidence doesn't breed out of those situations. So it's just nice to be back around in a team that's winning and doing well. With performance comes confidence in yourself. So that's all that really changed in the last year and the team's been playing better as well. So that, that helps no end. I mean, those two are always going to take the new ball and they're the best at doing that and taking early wickets. So if they do their job, it's always nice to come on when they're two or three down early. But I think it's always just going to be trying jumping in off the back of what they're doing. And I think we saw last game when it can go wrong as well. It's, it's, it's tough to follow them as well, because if they're getting pasted to all parts, then the expectation on you coming on next, you know the batsmen are going to come even harder at you. So it's just about fitting in through those middle overs and then trying to fill a role at the back end. But those two guys are so good at you know, the front, the middle and the death. So it's just about being that option for Finchie when they, they can't bowl because they've only got 10 overs each. That is the way it goes. Like some balls you, you get wrong out of the hand and it turns out perfectly. So um, yeah, in the moment of that game, that was a big wicket. He was controlling the game pretty well for Sri Lanka, but I mean, I'll take any wicket I can get. As I said, I've been in and out uh, a lot the past 12 months, but the si six years previous to that. so. Any opportunity to play, you want to stay in. So I think the guys have said from pretty much from game one, it's going to depend on the opposition and, and conditions. All I can do is try and make the decision as hard as I can for them and hopefully I've done that the last two games.